Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Morgan Brush. I'm so happy you guys are here. Today, we're just doing a fun little crafty vlog. If you guys watched my vlog from last week about me doing tote bags with my friends, it's basically gonna be a repeat of that, but I'm just doing it on my own because I have extra tote bags. It was literally so fun and so easy and may as well have even more cute totes for the summer. I use totes all the time when I'm like traveling or just like as an overnight bag. And these ones are really nice because they have a zipper in the top. So that'll be like perfect for an overnight bag. So I need to look through Pinterest, see for sure what I wanna do. I think I have an idea. I wanna do something about lucky girl syndrome. Let's manifest that into the universe. But anyways, let's take a look through Pinterest and then we'll start doing the design. I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna start out by just searching painted tote bags. Um, and then if I don't find something I like, I might just search up lucky girl syndrome and see if I find anything cool. There's some super funny ones when you search, like this B one is hilarious. Um, but I'm looking for more like a cutesy one with lettering. So like more of this vibe, but not this letter, you know? Oh, I never took my B rail. Let's do that together. My camera's dirty. Cute. Let's take a look. This is the design I did before, um, but then I just added more to it. But this is what mine looked like from last week and I'm obsessed with it. And it just says angel energy on the bottom. So cute, but definitely want some more lettering vibes this time. So let's see, that's kind of cool. Don't know if I'm obsessed with it. I saved something, let's see in my manifestation board. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This, I'm so lucky everything works out for me. Should we just do this? I feel like that's easy. I'm gonna fuck up these letters though. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Also, the worst part about painting is I always go for my water cup for like cleaning my brushes and I always almost drink it because I usually just have like a drink by me. But because this has a straw, hopefully I avoid that disaster today. Otherwise I'm gonna look like that grandpa meme where he drank like the pint of paint before he realized he thought it was yogurt. Anyway, let's start lettering. So I have a gold pen and I think I'm just gonna try to trace this lettering onto the tote and then I'll paint over it. So let's see how that works out for me. So far the lettering looks a little silly, but I'm just gonna keep going. Trust the process. I love when I get in creative moods like this because in high school, I took like three art classes a semester and I loved like anything creative. I loved painting. I was never good at drawing, but I was really into like photography, painting, stained glass, pottery, like, Literally, you name it, I probably took a class on it slash loved it. And then college happened and I majored in biology. So I obviously did not really have time for fun classes like that. Fast forward, I'm not even using my college degree. So like so much good that did, <laughs> but you know, it was good for the experience of college, I suppose. Oh no, my pen ran out. But anyways, so like college, I had no time for like creative things really anymore because all I was doing was homework and partying. <laughs> so now I'm just happy to finally like have the time and space in my life to do creative things again because it just makes me so happy. And honestly, it's such a good de-stressor. Like even if you're not good at art, you should just like try it out because I feel like there's something positive going on in there. Some dopamine being released or something. I really hope this tote turns out well because I am going to a beach in Texas next week with my husband's family and I'm so excited. And if this turns out well, I'm gonna use this as my personal item 
for the plane because these are so big that you could fit quite a bit in it but you can still pass it off like as a purse i think it'd be so cute to have my little manifestation tote with me on vacay i'm also so excited for that trip because apparently there's really good shells on the beach where their condo is so i am so excited to go through the beach and find some shells and stuff and then when i get home i want to make some like homemade shell jewelry and i have gold leaf paint so i want to paint like the edge of some of the shells like i'm seeing on pinterest a lot of jewelry that looks like that and i think it'd be so cool to make like homemade jewelry out of like things i actually found so i'm excited for that also i just realized i totally could have cut a stencil out with my cricut but that's all right <laughs> not to brag but i went to the dentist this morning and they told me i had beautiful gorgeous teeth so and she could tell i've been flossing so not to brag but i feel like i'm better than most people now because i do be flossing Finish the lettering, thank God, because I hated doing that. That's how the lettering looks. I feel like that will be cutie. I think I kind of do want to do the green like they did. So let's pick out from all these paints what green color. Kind of thinking this one, like that dark green, that'd be pretty. I don't want to mix a custom color because every time I mix a custom color, I run out and then I can't mix the exact same one again. So we're just gonna go with this bottle. And then I think I'm gonna outline the letters in either white or that gold leaf paint. So let's get started. Also, I'm always living life on the edge by doing crafts in this room. Everything around me is white. Okay, I'm picking a brush that's like slightly stiff. This is literally an old makeup brush that I'm just using as a paintbrush. Also, these palettes I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm pretty sure it came with like six for a dollar. Went back when the Dollar Tree was actually a dollar. So pretty good deal. Don't need to get super expensive supplies to do art, which is cool. But just to get in all those little corners, I definitely need an itty bitty brush. I really don't know if I want to do a border or not with a different color. Comment below, should I do a different color with a border? I would have already finished it by now, but you can comment anyway. <laughs> Let her down. Um, I'm not gonna count all of them, but a lot to go. I think the way to go is I'm just gonna do all the outlining with this little brush and then I'll go through with that thick brush to fill everything in afterwards. Oh my God, I meant to bring this up earlier. My little manifestation bag reminded me of it. I hit 250 subscribers. How crazy is that? I'm just like so excited and so grateful. I'm so happy that people are like actually watching the videos I like make and enjoying them. Um, um, I set the goal for myself that I really want to try to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the summer. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm just gonna keep working here. I've been filming and like posting so much content. I'm just so grateful that like all my hard work is paying off. How cool is that? Maybe manifestation works or maybe it's just all my hard work, but either way, I'm happy. So obviously, thank you to you guys who are here watching this. So I finished painting all of the lettering. It looks so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I'm just gonna let this dry for a little bit. And then I think what I'm gonna do is actually go around with a black Sharpie, just cause then I'll be able to get super crisp and exact lines. And then once that's done, I'm gonna seal it and then it'll be done. Alrighty, everything is dry and it is looking so cute. So I grabbed my Sharpie and I don't know how well this is gonna work, but let's try it out. I think I can just outline it in black and it'll look so much better. So this is the before. Don't look there. I swear to God, don't look at that. <laughs> I tried to erase pencil and it messed it up. But anyways, let's try this out. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. 
I'm so excited. If you guys want to try to make a tote yourself, I will have the ones I ordered linked on my Amazon storefront because these were so cheap and like literally huge and really great quality. And I will link these under my recent orders so it's easy for you guys to find. It must be really young to me. I gotta plan for what we wanna do. You wanna leave with me, I wanna be with you. Come on, let's go. No more limbo. I gotta plan for what we wanna do. You wanna leave with me, I wanna be with you. Come on, let's go. No more limbo. I've given this a pretty good amount of time to dry, so let's go outside and spray this. I'm really nervous, but I think it'll be okay. Sprayed it down and it did not ruin it. It looks so cute. Here's the other one I made. I am so obsessed with these. Sitting flat, that doesn't do it justice. Here is my precious little toe. Like, are we kidding? This is so freaking cute. I literally cannot wait to use this on vacation. I'm in love with it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed just this cute little crafty vlog. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Come on, let's go.